Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I am doing part two to my fall decorate with me. I am so excited to finally start decorating the rest of my kitchen. I will be starting with my dining room table, and as you can see, I took everything off of it, and I'm just going to spray some Lysol spray on there to really disinfect the table. I like to do this when I decorate different areas of my house to make sure that we are starting with a clean slate. Once we have the table wiped down, I'm going to put my table runner back on. I did purchase this from Home Goods, I want to say a year or two ago, so unfortunately I cannot link it for you guys, but if I can find something similar, I will have it linked down below. So for my centerpiece, I decided to go with something different this year. I picked up all of this stuff from Hobby Lobby. So I will have everything linked down below if you are interested in creating something similar to what I did. This was a lot of fun for me because I have actually never decorated a dough bowl before other than the one that I have in my living room, which I do really enjoy the way that that one came out, but I felt like it was pretty simple. And this one was going to take more creativity and I really enjoy the way that it ended up coming out. I actually ended up putting a lantern in the middle of this instead of the pumpkin that you see here. You will have to follow me over on Instagram. I will be posting a picture of what the lantern looks like. And I would love to get your guys' opinions on if you like the pumpkin better or the lantern. I decided to go with the lantern in the middle just because it gave it a little bit more height. When I looked at it, when I was finished decorating it, I just didn't love it completely. It felt like something was missing and that was height. It just looked very plain. So I think the lantern added exactly what it needed. I picked up all this greenery and some pine cones as you see me putting in here. All of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. So again, if you are interested in doing something similar, make sure to check the description box down below. As you can see, some of the pumpkins are a really pretty peach color and also a really light green. I liked these simple pops of color to just have something a little different that I don't usually decorate with. I really like the way that these acorns and pine cones came out. I thought it was a nice touch and just added some filler to the spaces that needed it. The thing that I love so much about home decor is that you can get inspiration from so many different people and places. I go on Pinterest and Instagram all the time and save different posts of things that inspire me so that I can go ahead and take those ideas and put my own twist and my own style on them. I would love to hear down below in the comments what you guys are decorating with this year. If you're keeping things neutral, traditional, or something completely different. I've seen a lot of cheetah print pumpkins this year, the really pretty blue colored pumpkins as well. I would love to hear what you guys are doing. I'm definitely keeping it pretty neutral around my house with pops of orange. I like to keep things pretty traditional and nothing too loud or out there, but it is always so much fun hearing from you guys what you are decorating with and what style you like. So this is the completed look of my dough bowl. Like I said, the center of it has changed for now to a really pretty lantern that I got from Kirkland's. If you do want to see what that looks like, head on over to my Instagram. I will be posting it over there. I would love to hear how you think it came out down below in the comments and if you like the different little pops of color in the pumpkins. Now since this is on my kitchen table, I am bringing back my salt and pepper shakers. I get a lot of questions about these. They are right done and I did get them from Home Goods. I am also bringing my napkin holder back and just putting some napkins in there. Next we are going to move over to my kitchen island with the infamous Hobby Lobby shelf. This actually has been back in stock the last couple days, so make sure to check it out down below if you have been wanting this shelf. 
it is the time to get it. It was actually 50% off just the other day, so I'm hoping by the time this video goes live, it'll still be 50% off for you guys. If not, make sure to keep checking back because I haven't seen it in stock in such a long time, so you'll definitely wanna make sure and jump on it. So as you can see, I'm just taking everything out of the shelf and then I'm going to be putting some new flowers into the vase that I had in the corner. I'm actually going to be replacing those flowers again here in just a second. But I did take out my autumn birdhouse from Ray Dunn and I wanted to do a cute little display right here on the corner of my kitchen. I did want to incorporate some apples into my fall decor this year because I've been seeing a lot of inspiration and pictures on Instagram with people doing this. I didn't quite like how they looked down there, so I ended up moving up to my Hobby Lobby shelf. I'm taking all of the canisters off and just wiping it down because things do get dirty. I don't do this as often as I need to, so when I redecorate, I make sure to do so. I got this cute little table from Michaels that a lot of you guys have asked me about, so make sure to check the links down below because they do have it back in stock this year. I really like the way that the apple decor looks up on the Hobby Lobby shelf instead of on my little tiered stands that I had it on before. I've also gotten so many questions on where I got my risers in the corner of my kitchen and I did get those from Bullseye Playground at the beginning of the year. I did go ahead and put my measuring cups on one of the risers and I did change out the floral arrangement in my vase because the other orange was just clashing with the red so I went ahead and did something a little more neutral. I believe I got that floral arrangement with some pumpkins from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. For the drawer that pulls out on the Hobby Lobby shelf, I want to keep the Ray Dunn to a minimum because I used to have it filled with other Ray Dunn items but I just have my salt and pepper cellars in the middle and then I have my oil and vinegar that I got from the Bullseye Playground area along with a bunch of other miscellaneous items that I got from the Target Bullseye area. That is my go-to place to shop for things to decorate my tier tray, inside my Hobby Lobby tray, and some of my floating shelves. I really like the way that this area turned out. You will have to let me know if you like the apples or not. I'm not 100% sold if I want to keep them or not. Moving over to this little corner of my kitchen with my Magnolia basket and Ray Dunn pasta bowls, I'm just going to add this cute little pitcher that has a floral arrangement that I got from Walmart. It was only $2.98 and I absolutely love it. It just gives this little corner a pop of fall. Coming over to my Keurig, I'm going to take away the old floral arrangement and vase that I had DIY'd and I'm just going to replace it with these really pretty flowers that I had put in the vase previously. I did pick these up from the dollar spot in Target, so if you do like them, make sure to go to your local Target because they do have a bunch of nice different floral picks to pick from. I ended up putting a more fall mug right here on my Keurig. I'm actually going to end up moving this over to my coffee bar area, which you will see in my next fall decorate with me, so I'm on the hunt to find a non-Ray Dunn fallish looking mug. If you have any recommendations, send them my way. Moving over to my kitchen sink, I am just replacing all of my spring and summer scents with all of the fall scents that Mrs. Myers has come out with. I have the apple cider and mum. I love the way that these smell and I really like the way that it adds a pop of color for fall time. I will have everything linked that you see here in the description box down below. So that is going to be it for this fall decorate with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. You will have to let me know what your favorite area of my kitchen is so far. If you did miss part one, I will also have that link down below for you. I show you how I decorated my tiered tray that I have on my kitchen island. I will be having one more fall decorate with me coming out decorating my kitchen. And then we will also have a separate fall decorate with me for my living room area. I hope you guys are excited for all of the fall content because I know that I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed, please make sure to do so. And please make sure you are following me on Instagram if you would like to enter my monthly giveaways that I have going on. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye, stay marvelous.